Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel here. I am Tyson Honecker on Emit One, and today we are going to be reviewing the new Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. A glowing review here for me. It was way better than I thought it was going to be and surprised me a lot in the theater. Definitely enjoyed it. And right here on the channel, I want to say we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and I would love to have you on the journey with us. We do movie trailer reactions, movie reviews, movie entertainment news. We cover all of it here on the channel, so please stick around and subscribe and join us on that journey. So let's get into Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. All right, so this movie, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, I knew it was coming out, but I don't know anything about the actual game that it's based off of. I've never played it. I don't know anybody else who's played it. The most I know about the game is probably what Stranger Things has uh, has told me about it. So I really wasn't excited for this movie. The trailers also didn't really intrigue me as well, didn't make me want to go out and see it. But I was going to give it a shot. I heard a lot of good things. So I was like, all right, let me go out to the theater and see what this is all about. Wow, am I happy I did. This movie surprised the hell out of me. It was a great time. This was a great, fun fantasy film. Definitely, uh, I think, appropriate for all ages, but have a great time watching this film. And I'm sure that it adapts the game to the screen really well here. Um, but boy, was I just thoroughly, thoroughly shocked and surprised at how fun of a time I had watching this film. Let's start off by the cast. We have Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez, who are the head honchos here of this film, and they helm it very well. It was a very funny, hysterical movie, and Chris Pine's character was great as a lead here in this film. I definitely enjoyed his character as flawed as he was. He definitely had a huge heart, a huge sense of humor that I loved throughout this film. Michelle Rodriguez was a badass, like she usually is in all of her movies. And she definitely delivered here. This was a, probably one of my favorite performances, actually, of her. And the supporting cast here is great. I mean, we have Hugh Grant in this film. I was surprised. I didn't know he was going to be in this movie. And, hell, his performance was amazing in here. He was funny to see. He was great, great addition here to this cast. And, of course, the story, I think, of this film was actually a huge plus for me. Usually in these fantasy films, the story can feel a little lackluster and maybe the weakest part. But to me, actually, this was one of the strongest parts. I think this story was actually very enjoyable. And it, like I said, it was just fun. It was it was a happy movie. I felt like this was a great popcorn film. One of the best movies I've actually seen this year. Um, it just gave me a sense of wonder and wanting to dive deeper into this world. Uh, the world building, I think, was great. And I think there will be a sequel here. And I'm very excited to see where that goes, where this franchise, I think, is going to take us um, you know, I'll definitely go back into the theater and see the second one when I think it's going to be inevitable that it's going to come out. I think this is going to be a pretty good box office success. And so far, it has over 100 reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, and I think it's at an 89%. And I don't, I see that going up maybe a little bit. Uh, of course, we'll probably get some more reviews as this weekend comes to a close. But I think this box office return is going to be highly successful, which means we are going to definitely be seeing a sequel. I think the magic that was done here in this film with all the spells and kind of the wizardry of it was done uh, really excellent. Uh, I, I don't have any complaints about it. And it felt actually real to me. It made sense narratively and the struggles that some characters may have had with it, I thought was done and handled very well. Um, usually also the visuals of that magic can be lackluster as well in a film like this. But I thought the visual effects was done brilliantly, brilliantly. I think they had a great budget for it. Um, I don't really have much complaints for the film. It is 2 hours and 14 minutes. It did feel a little bit long to me. I think they could have shortened this up to maybe like an hour 50, hour 55, something like that. But that's also that's just a tiny, tiny complaint. Um, I do think the third act, it was pretty good. There were There's one moment, I want to say, where there is the final conflict between the, the villain here. Um, I felt was a little bit weak I felt it was building up and it kind of felt like it was rushed and I think we could have given that a little bit more time to be drawn out um so those are my only two complaints is uh, uh, that final act where they fight the main villain 
and where the runtime can get in the way a little bit. But other than that, it's a very funny movie, a great audience movie for sure. You want to experience this on the big screen with an audience because with my theater, we were all laughing at the same time. We were enjoying it. It was great to be around a lot of people who felt like they were immersed into this world. And I think this movie does a great job of that. So with all this positive from this movie, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Definitely one I think I will see in the theater again. And one I am excited for the sequel because I do think that is inevitable because I think this film will have legs. It will be successful at the box office. And I think you, the audience, are going to enjoy it and the studio is going to hear that and, re and well, give us a sequel. So I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on the movie. Let me know if you are seeing this opening day weekend or if you've already seen it because there were some early showings of this that I just couldn't get to the theater to see. But I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know down below. And like I said, we are on the road here to 1,000 subscribers. I would love to have you guys here stick around for us. We do movie reviews, movie trailer reactions. We do movie entertainment news and catch up on directors, castings for future projects, and all that and more. So with all that being said, let me know your thoughts down below on Dungeons & Dragons Among Thieves. 8.5 out of 10 for me. Really enjoyed it. And with that being said, I'm Tyson Honecker from Emit One, and I will see you guys on the next one.